Since 2002, bioscience has been a buzzword in the greater Phoenix area, promising economic welfare and prosperity. A higher waged, technology driven employment base and medical advances. From the beginning, Maricopa Community Colleges has been a partner in the effort to attract the International Genomics Consortium to Phoenix and to work for the formation of the Translational Genomics Research Institute, TGen. TGen was considered to be one of the organizations that they were looking at, and we heard about the International uh, uh, Genomics uh, Consortium, and we were asked to participate uh, by the governor. And we thought it was a great opportunity for us to be part of this strategy. Uh, we are the largest provider of workforce training in the state of Arizona, and we were excited. Uh, we think it is part of our mission. We think it helps us to meet the workforce demands in the Valley. And we know that for every bioscientist, uh, PhD, MD, they will need between 8 and 12 technicians. And we believe that uh, our expertise is to produce those technicians. The Maricopa Community Colleges committed $1.5 million for program development in biosciences, a commitment that already has been exceeded. Maricopa also entered into a $1 million affiliation agreement with TGen over a period of 10 years. Funding provided by the voters through Proposition 301, a measure that dedicates a portion of state sales tax to education, has enabled Maricopa to expand its bioscience programs even further. The exciting academic affiliation between Maricopa and TGen has brought real dividends already. Maricopa students and faculty members are gaining hands-on experience in TGen labs. So many times we think of internship experiences as doing gopher work, uh, as being in the environment but not being a part of the environment. Our students are actually a part of the environment. Our faculty are a part of the environment. They are side by side. Uh, and I think it, it, it really helps our students, again, for those students who are really searching to, to think, is healthcare, is research, is bioscience a profession I want to get into? And I will tell you, this will either suck someone in during the first six months or uh, have our students consider that they might want to look at another area of uh, the profession. We're actually extracting DNA from formalin-fixed paraffin-embedded tissue and we're going to be using that to um, distinguish separate genes that actually help determine whether somebody is going to develop colon cancer or not. Yeah, I think I was really prepared here, so um, I didn't have to develop any skills. Um, MCC developed those and I just perfected them here. At the time when I spoke to my counselor at ASU, I was actually in a different major, so going to Mesa Community College actually helped me find my true calling. I came here as an intern through the Mesa Community College uh, Biotechnology Program and I've been here for six months. I work in the Hematological Malignancies Research Unit and we are studying uh, multiple myeloma, which is a cancer, and I'm working with new technology. I've learned a lot. <laughs> it was a lot better than I expected. I expected maybe as an intern that you would be doing more of, a, of an assisting type uh, position. However, I've been given my own project and have uh, been working independently the entire time. So it's been very rewarding. I started at ASU and then I uh, went to the community college system because I felt that there was more hands-on training and I felt there was more individualized instruction and that's exactly what I got. It is an excellent system where you can actually learn both technology skills, hands-on training that you can apply in a real laboratory and you also receive uh, more individualized instruction. So I've been learning how to use statistical analysis to kind of filter out you know, all these millions of data points a little bit of computer programming with that, and then you know, wet lab work, chemistry work. How, how do you actually, you know, mix the chemicals and analyze the DNA? Well, it's really inspired me because I mean, it's it's one thing to, to go to class and, and lectures and, and hear about you know science and whatnot, but it's it's a it's a whole different experience to actually be involved in it and hands on, see what it is, and you know, use these these machines and you know, mixing chemicals and all that. So it's really it's it's inspired me and it's kind of it's motivated me to really really go after this. Bioinformatics is certainly a growing part of the biotech industry here in the Valley. 
Uh, all the biotech workers are producing zillions of bytes of data daily, and they have to get analyzed or they're useless just sitting in a file. So there's going to be a huge demand for bioinformatics workers, um, as well as the actual lab workers producing the data. And I'm looking that my uh, people coming out of my two-year program someday will help to meet that demand by providing some good analysis of the data, and also that eventually they'll progress on towards more advanced degrees at the state universities. One of the major bonuses that I feel I'm getting from this internship is building bridges between Maricopa Colleges and TGen. TGen also has benefited from this academic affiliation. I think the college students give a little bit more, um, they have, they're a little bit more mature, they're a little more into what we're doing. They have, they've had some lab courses underneath their belt. They understand basic technique, um, which is a great asset that we don't have to spend, you know, all of our time kind of babysitting them. Um, Stephanie was wonderful. She came in um, knowing a lot of the background already. Um, she's worked in the field before and she could come in and she basically hit the ground running and has never stopped. And they seem very highly motivated, very high ambitious, um, you know, lots of, they want to learn, they have a great intent for learning. Um, they're all, she's all, I mean, especially, especially Stephanie, she's always asking questions, um, always wants to know why which is always a great thing in research. You know, you, you don't want people just to blindly run through things. You want them to actually ask those questions. Uh, Catherine and other students like her have been able to come in here and within a couple of days get things going, get things running, and actually generate data. So I think she is extremely well prepared, and I think uh, Maricopa Community Colleges have, have done extremely a uh, good job in preparing the students. I think when they come here, they can see a personal side to what they're doing. Uh, we are collaborating with the Mayo Clinic at the time and we have uh, doctors who actually see patients every day with diseases that we're studying. And to put that kind of relationship to the project I think makes it all more meaningful to them. Carol really comes with a huge amount of computing experience and my background is computing and biochemistry. So. Uh, what we're working on together is adding some extra biological context on top of Carol's existing skills. So we're looking at uh, some of the major databases, things that Carol will deal with uh, when she starts up her bioinformatics course up at Glendale, uh, trying to familiarise her with the sorts of things that scientists are going to ask for. Because I guess that's what ultimately drives the work we do is it, it's never done in isolation. We only try and do work that delivers value for the scientists. Part of the success of this is when it benefits both groups in both directions, and I think this has been a, a great example of that. I, I personally have had the chance to talk to students on uh, three of the campuses over the course of the last year, uh, year and a half, and, uh, and I know many of the other uh, faculty have enjoyed that uh, as well. Well, I'd say the first word that comes to mind is enthusiasm. Uh, just a sense of competence would be two. And then third, a sense of breadth, a sense of uh, some added experience we frequently see from these students. So add that all up and it's really a very strong positive. I think that this has been one of the most successful partnerships that we've had within the academic area is to bring and work with students from the entire system. And so we're, uh, we're excited about keeping it going and, and expanding it if we can. Already the largest provider of healthcare training in the Southwest, Maricopa Community Colleges is on track to become the leader in training workers for the new biotechnology industry as well. We're known for teaching and learning. 80% of what we do is the teaching and learning and hands-on. And I think that it has proven itself with this program because our smaller class sizes allow students to uh, talk to that professor, to get more engaged, to work more in, in terms of, of partners and for, uh, for us then to partner with our uh, business community to give them an opportunity to go out and see if what they learned in theory and in a small environment of research is really applicable in, in the work world. As the future of bioscience evolves, Maricopa will be there to provide the trained workforce of the future.